What's up? This is Angry Tom Tom channel and today I will be unboxing this another 3080 edition of the NVIDIA by Gainward Phantom uh, GS version which is the uh, overclock uh, version okay and um, I'm hoping that uh, it will have like 100 uh, megahertz per solution um, because like I have not tried this card yet um, uh, so far the best one is uh, Zotac is the most consistent uh, and the uh, I game with the LCD that's that's up to like 99 megahertz per solution and the Gundam edition right over there so Gundam, Zotac and the uh, I game uh, full cam with the LCD that's the best uh, speed and power in terms of uh, power per uh, megahertz okay so let's do unboxing this gain work right away uh, I'm using one hand so please bear with me okay let's do unboxing oh it's all sealed okay I need to take it out with the scissor hold on a second let me go back all right I already take out the uh, the seal if you want to look at the details which I don't really need it because I'm not going to be using it for gaming I'm just going to be using it for mining I'm sorry all of you guys gamers don't be jealous I know this card is really hard to find um, and I got it at like a slightly more expensive price but not overly expensive okay so let's take this out oh my goodness okay Okay, then I put it there. All right, let's see how the box looks like. The box is it's okay. It's not too sturdy. It's not too flabby. There's a box here, a black box, and there's like a symbol here, just in case if you buy a um, a new one, you wanna see uh what's what's the content inside. Okay. This is the distributor uh, symbols. Okay, that's the gu uh, guarantee card. Okay, um, it's right over here. TDG is the distributor. Okay, 10 gigabyte of card. And okay, this is like a certification product certification statement. It's passed the FCC test. Um, I don't know, maybe this is like a quick start. Hold on a second, let me open it. Okay, this is like a thank you letter. And if you want to go to the website, you can download blah blah blah. Okay, which is not that important. So let's take out the real deal. Okay, let's take this out. Uh, I believe this is like a two years uh, guarantee, I believe. Um, it's not stated here. But let's see, let's see inside, okay, there's like a foam here, okay, there's a box, let me take this out, and there's a gain ward, comes with the, uh, uh, the power splitter, like 6 pin by 2, um, that's the 8 pin, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not, okay, I'm not sure, okay, this is the gain ward itself, okay, I've got like, okay a um a sec holder for the pc uh to prevent uh sagging it's made by a glass you know um really really nothing special and you got like a lot of bolt here um and another plastic here okay, i wouldn't be needing it so i'm not gonna be opening it up because i want to test the uh curvy cuts first to see if it is working okay and take this out okay it's pretty heavy as you can see here okay pretty heavy so let's take this out let's move this back over there okay this is how it looks I'm surprised there is no cover here uh, usually I got it so maybe it's not that new or you know somebody already used it so what the fuck man? So 
somebody already used it, I guess. Okay, um, the box is already been opened. Huh. Okay, um, I think someone already opened it. Fuck, man. I don't have the cover. Okay, let me take this out slowly. Alright, guys, it's out already. If you want to look at carefully how beautiful it is. Okay, there's a hole here on the heatsink. Uh, but I believe the chips is somewhere within this bolt. Usually it's over there. That's the warranty. If you take this out, then you, you might lose your warranty. And it says an April 2021, okay? And that's the uh, serial number in Latin China. Uh, and um, it's tested. It's the warranty. It's the 32 bit of uh, 10 gigabyte of the 3080 Phantom. And um, okay, let's see the socket. Let's see how thick it is. Wow, it's pretty cool. There is like uh, some kind of uh, metal here. Okay, this is how it looks from the front. It looks pretty unique, you know. I've never had a gain work before. Um, there's like a line right over here. I'm not sure what this is for. It's just for styling or it's just for a cooling system. But for me, I think it is like might be like a LED here otherwise it's not useful for a cooling system I believe okay this is how it looks from the side it's pretty uh, thick uh, this is like a um, plastic material okay plastic plastic uh, this is metal like an I don't know aluminium or something let's see what's the port okay um surprisingly I don't have any uh, a plastic covering here usually I have it so someone might have been using this um, they might not like it and then sell it to me as uh, new but it's not new definitely okay uh, three display port and one HDMI okay um, okay let's see the um, uh, the power socket okay there's like a 18 by 3 power socket usually like 1 to 3 is equal to 450 watts okay so this is 150 watt uh, 150 watt and 150 watt okay it might go up to 400 something okay 450 maybe maybe not okay so I'll let you guys to see it before I install it I'm gonna be installing right over there uh, on the fourth rig maybe on the bottom on the right side that's what I'm planning to put it on the right side of it here um, okay I might put like I don't know a fan here because it's gonna be like right over here and I'm gonna push it a little bit over there okay uh, that's just my another mining stuff and um, I'm also improving the uh, cooling system I put like the fan here to push all the heat on the uh, PSU okay because when I touch it it turns like it turns out to be like hot you know so I put this um, fan to eliminate all the hot spot okay so it's gonna be hot over here but after I put the fan uh, 55 watt fan it's fine you know uh, the temperature are pretty pretty much drops okay and I put like another fan Delta fan to here uh, cooling up the Platinex which is pretty good now so you should do this too okay um what else um okay so i am going to install it in a second and i'm going to show you my temperature this is the uh temperature with the ac on it's 35.2 uh during the night uh if i don't use the ac it will go up to 36 point something 36.5 or 8 okay so it's like almost two degree more okay I'm gonna show you how beautiful it is first before I install it maybe you guys want to see okay uh, if you see the heat sink it's just like traditional it's just like straight okay it's nothing um, wavy or 
a different shape like MSI okay so it's pretty much traditional and you can see all the heat pipes inside here okay hmm I don't know why it's kind of bended you know you can see it's not that straight or smooth I'm not sure why okay you can see all the heat sinks here all right that's the heat sink um it's all the bolt here uh, I'm trying to look at if there is like an OC button like a silent mode or something but I okay I find it here there's a, a button here maybe for the OC or for the silent mode but I don't know how to reach it you got to use like a stick to um, to kind of switch the button okay so there you go because this is an OC version so um, usually there's like a button over there okay warning this is a hot surface you shouldn't touch it it's really hot um, during the uh, mining okay I'm not sure uh, what the button is is it the OC or the silent mode but uh, I'm gonna look it up in the internet before I uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change it later okay so I'm just gonna install this um, here I already um, uh, install my gain ward and you can see I can reach to 96.56 at uh, 55 degree it's like kind of really really high with the 225 watt I believe this is like the OC settings um, so I'm gonna show you my specification it's minus 300 with the 100 memory clock this is the core clock and that's the power limit okay um, but I kind of forget to show you the uh, the uh, thermal pad okay so let's check it out I already installed it so you gotta sit from here I can see some a um, thermal pad look at that um, on the back bed look at that uh, greenish stuff okay and I'm um, trying to look at the one on the back but it is covered by this metal so I can't really see it so let's see it from this side okay um, I can't see it either it's blocked by the uh, by the metal okay so um i'm really sorry that i couldn't show you guys uh the one from the bottom because there is a uh, my psu but you can see there's like one of the thermal bed over there and it's like so freaking hot okay i'm gonna try to decrease the oc switch like right over here you know um okay i'm trying to look at from the bottom uh, yeah, let's see if I can see a thermal pad. Okay, that's a green stuff uh, right on the left. Uh, that's a thermal pad. Oh my god, there's a static. Okay, so um, I'm really sorry that I forget to show you the, uh, the thermal pad. But basically, it runs pretty hot on the OC mode, I guess. So I'm gonna be trying to uh, um, try to uh, put the switch on that side to the uh, left side okay um on this side right up here it's really hard to reach okay but uh i'm gonna try to click the switch okay hold on a second i'm gonna show you guys how stable is this okay so i got like a seven um seven uh gpu as you can see one two three four five six seven and i you know msi sucks and the galax over here it sucks okay the, uh, the megahertz per solution whatever it is okay um, you can look at the uh, device manager that I have like seven GPU okay one two three four one two three four five six seven okay I'm using a uh, uh, 2700 um, 2700 uh, PSU but I can uh, switch I mean using my uh, 1000 I can uh, play around with like one of the socket um, I use like the uh, to get that up uh, white and uh, and the black I kind of switch that 1000 that's a uh, 1700 okay and look let's look at the uh, look at the how many watts okay 
look at the power cost it's like 2000 2002 watts okay so yeah so it's 2002 watts okay okay it's 2003 watts okay it's just let's say 2003 watts okay so it's pretty high with all the 7 GPU and the, uh, the speed is around 659 to uh, 660 okay so it's just let's say 659 okay with uh, 2000 watts okay that's how you're gonna get with this uh, VGA all the seven I don't know why the fan is like zero I already set the, the fan to a 100 I'm not sure why is it showing zero you know so uh, I see a uh, memory junction temperature I almost forget to mention it okay um let's see the fifth GPU okay let's go upward hold on let me take my mouse pad okay so the nine G uh, the six GPU one two three four five six okay that's the soft tag is 92 so the this one Okay, it's uh, 96 for the gain word. It's pretty high at 96. That's like the bottom, uh, the highest that uh, you should get is around 96 to 98. But uh, yeah, so uh, the Zotac clearly is the winner here. It's only 92 degree Celsius um, of the memory junction. So I believe the thermal path of the uh, uh, Zotac is much better, okay? And in terms of the uh, temperature, okay? And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be trying to take out the uh, the OZ, so it uh, the temperature might decrease after I set it up. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Let's uh, switch it using a pen while the GPU is turned off. Okay, I turn off everything now. Okay, I uh, turn off everything just to be on the safe side. So let's turn it back on click and click okay so everything should be turned back on um i am really disappointed there is no led uh lights on that one no rgb it's only on the side there's a game word uh symbols as you can see here okay but there's no lights on the top i don't know is it broken or i don't know i mean i bought it new so it's kind of weird that it doesn't have an rgb uh, on that side, you know Okay, let's uh, get it on all right guys, so I already restarted and using uh, the same specific um, configuration for the uh, for the my fifth GPU uh, Look at that fifth GPU uh, With the uh, gain word. It's still having 96.62 even though I already switched the OC and I don't know the temperature is like done by two degree of Celsius you know uh, it's not a lot but I prefer it like lower and I still cannot find a modification to make it like a 100% uh, of the fan speed I don't know why is it me or the T-Rex itself is uh, so very it's kind of messed up okay uh, it just runs like just now so let's see if the uh, temperature decrease um or or going up okay so the speed is now is 664 uh it used to be 659 i will see if it can uh stay in that kind of speed total speed okay that's my gain work again um again you don't have like the rgb light on the top i don't know what the fuck I mean, is it should be a uh, light or not? Okay. In my Zotac, okay, all my Zotac lights are turning on, so I have no problem with my Zotac. Okay, and my MSI, everything looks like a rainbow. Um, okay, so, okay, so it's still whatever the fuck you saying, man. It's like 54 degrees Celsius with 224 watts, so it doesn't really. Um, it isn't really going down you know I don't know which which switch is silent or which switch is not but uh, it seems like it's the same um, it's the same watt and the same uh, uh, temperature okay so let me make it down to a 60 okay so the speed is going down to 359 you know so 
there must be a thermal throttling somewhere in this uh, GPU. Okay, I turn it down to 60 and we'll see what happened. Okay, so it still doesn't really matter. The gen word is still like fucking 96.7 with the high uh, temperature, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna be waiting, okay. Okay, so the gen word is going down a little bit to 221 watts after I change it to 60. But the temperature is only down by one degree. Um, okay, so it doesn't really make a difference. So I'm gonna make it down to a 59, okay? Okay, so now with the 59 power limit, with the same memory clock and the uh, core clock, which is minus 300 and 959, um, the uh, cost of the electricity is going down on the gain ward, but the temperature is still fucking high and it's going down not a lot, you know? It's only like 0 0.96.67 to 96.58, okay? So it doesn't really drop that much, okay? So I need to put like a lot of fan maybe on the gain ward, which I already put like a fan on the side and fan like over there. But it might not be as centered as I want to. It should be on the center, but uh, you know, I'm gonna be uh, putting like one more fan maybe on the back, like one more fan for the saw pack uh, tomorrow maybe. But uh, I'm trying to make the temperature going down, but I can't, you know. And um, it doesn't matter if you decrease the, uh, the power by 217. I mean, the temperature is still like pretty high. So let's go down to a 58, we'll see. Okay, so after I change it to a 57, uh, the speed's still like the same. Um, it's kind of confusing, it's like 210 watts but it's not working so um, and the speed overall speed is going down uh, because of this MSI speed is going down I don't know if it is if because it's because I change it or not I'm not sure so I'm just gonna leave it there for the review that for tonight I hope um, this review is pretty helpful uh, for you to uh, make a decision uh, to buy which uh, RTX 3080 that uh, you're gonna get uh, but basically the gain ward is cheaper than the Zotac as of now so um, but I'm still like rooting for Zotac because the speed never changes okay and the uh, temperature is lower than the gain ward so I would get like Zotac and maybe Gundam or um, uh, I gain full can okay because uh, the temperature is like much lower um, Let's see it again on the 6 GPU on the memory junction temperature. Okay, that's the 6 GPU at the memory junction temperature is at 92, you know. It's not high, but it was higher. But now it's stable at 92 because maybe because I open up the AC. Let's see what's happening tomorrow after it's breaking down. I mean the thermal pad and the uh no no that's the saw tech i'm sorry this is the uh the fifth gpu is the gain word i'm sorry i made a mistake okay that's 96 so zotech has a better thermal pad definitely and might be a bigger heatsink okay so don't forget to hit a uh, subscribe and like button and comment if you find it like really really useful and um yeah have a great night and um Stay strong and question everything. This is the Angry Tom Tom channel, and I'll see you in the next videos. Have a good night.